it is important for you to understand that you can't sing the Lord's song on a foreign altar. You must sing the song of the Lord. You must sing the song of joy because God has brought you into a season of joy and of harvest and of rejoicing. Never sing it in worship of the foreign God. That's why you have to make yourself distinct from the system of the world that is clamoring for your song. Because that system is going to clamor for your spirituality. It's going to ask you, come and dance. Sometimes it's going to be a social party or a nightclub. I mean, dance is dance. Singing is singing. No, dance is not dance. Singing is not singing. There is a song of the Lord. There is a dance of the Lord. There is a joy of the Lord. And you cannot sing the song of the Lord in a beer parlor. You cannot sing the song of harvest in a nightclub. You cannot sing the song of the Lord in gay chat rooms. Never sing it on the altar of the unrighteous. This is a call to young women. This is a call to young men. When sinners entice you, don't consent. I don't know who you are that has been under intense pressure to buckle. Whether you're a lady, whether you're a man, the Lord is saying to say to you, never prostitute your song of joy on the altar of value system that are foreign to what the kingdom of God represents. Say, how can I sing the song of the Lord on a foreign altar?